Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day video. I am at my parents' house and I'm actually headed to Boston tomorrow for our trip, but I thought I would film a What I Eat In A Day video today because I am doing a bunch of recipe testing and I just haven't done one of these in a while. So that's what we're gonna do. I already made my matcha, which you saw, and now I'm gonna make a really quick like breakfast slash snack, which I've been really into, which is just a rice cake with almond butter and banana. It's so easy, but it's absolutely delicious. Had to change my memory card, but I am going to make my rice cakes right now, and I usually just have one. It's already 10.30, so I'm just gonna have one with half of banana and almond butter, and then, I'm gonna be recipe testing all day, so I'll probably be munching on things throughout the morning, and then I have some leftovers from earlier or from yesterday that I'm gonna have for lunch. These are the rice cakes that I like. They are brown rice cakes. They are from Lundberg Farms. They are salt-free and they are organic. And then this is the almond butter that I'm using, creamy almond butter from Once Again. This is one of my favorite nut butter companies. It's so creamy, and I just, slather on some nut butter and top it with sliced banana and chia seeds and hemp seeds and call it a day. This is a vegan crab cake recipe. I used some chickpeas, artichokes, and hearts of palm, and then you just pan fry them in a little bit of olive oil, and they are smelling so delicious. I'll show you the finished product in a sec. So I'm frying up right now, but here is the finished product. I'm having some issues with focus on this camera. This is a new camera, and I'm probably gonna switch back to my other vlogging camera, but. I will cut into them and show you what they look like on the inside. Okay, so in addition to the crab cakes, I'm also going to reheat some zucchini fritters. If you've never made that recipe, it is so good. I'll link it down below for you. I love having extras on hand that I toast in the oven and then I put hummus, tomato, and avocado on top. It's so good. And then I also have a leftover salad that I made yesterday, which is a shaved Brussels sprout salad, which I'm also gonna have on the side. So basically just leftovers galore. So while that's heating up, here is the Brussels sprout salad. It's basically just shaved Brussels sprouts with finely chopped up kale, toasted almonds, and a honey lemon dressing. There's also some hemp hearts in there for protein, and it's absolutely delicious. This is coming in quite a while, but I do have a similar one on the blog, which I will link down in the description box for you. I'll get back to my iPhone because this just focuses a lot better. But anyway, so here's the salad. It is so good. Look at that. And then the zucchini fritters with hummus and tomato. And back here is the crab cake. So let me cut into this so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Oh yeah, baby. So it's been a super productive day so far. I got done four different recipes. I got eight done in the last two days and I now have all of January's content done. So hopefully getting back from our trip will even be, will be even less stressful because I won't have to worry about a month's worth of content. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed what we've made today. I know I didn't totally show you everything and I'm not quite sure what's for dinner. Um, we're either gonna do the green curry soup that I made today or we're gonna just do like a fridge clean out because my parents get their CSA tomorrow and my mom <laughs> wants to use up as many veggies as possible. So we actually might make my zucchini pizza and then make like a 
tomato cucumber salad or something, but we'll see. I think I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine right now and finish editing another video. So we are going to just heat up the green curry soup, which I made today, which has green curry, lentils, kale, white sweet potatoes, eggplant, and cauliflower in it. And my mom, you can hear her chopping, is making a tomato and cucumber salad, which I will show you in just a second. And then we might have some toast on the side. It's like super easy, but super delicious dinner. What are you doing here? Chopping up tomatoes. Chopping tomatoes. I'll show you what it looks like over here. Chopping up tomatoes. These are from CSA. And then we're gonna add in some chopped up cucumber. I'm trying to think how I wanna cut these. I'm gonna cut them a little thin. So added in some parsley and just making a little quick dressing of like lemon, olive oil, okay. very simple, Dijon, salt, pepper. And it's a really fun way to have salad without the greens because we have greens in our soup. So I love having this in the summertime. All the people with the deal with these pickled red onions is. Uh, these are pickled red onions that just have some vinegar in them and a little thyme and some rosemary. That's about it. Just like regular them. vinegar? Or did I you use, use apple cider vinegar. Mm. I put them on everything. Sandwiches, tacos, salads, um, and you can do all different kinds of herbs and other types of um, vinegar with them. Also, yeah, thyme and rosemary in there. I put thyme and rosemary in this one. I haven't done that before, but I thought I'd try it because I had a bunch. It smells oh. delish. Salad is gonna be so good. So we also added in a bit more um, greens, stirred in the rest of the spinach that we had, and it's smelling so good. This recipe is not coming for a long time, but I do have other curries on the blog, which I will link down below for you. I do have a gr another green curry with tofu, which is awesome. So you will be able to make this in January, but if you wanna make a green curry right now, I'll link that one down for you. All right, here's the dinner sitch. Got a toast, some of the salad. Looks awesome. And the soup. Probably need hot sauce, right? All right, my friends, that pretty much does it for today's What I Eat in a Day video. I'm not even honestly sure like what I ended up filming, so I hope you still found it interesting and fun. I'll link anything that I talked about down in the description box for you, and it's now time for me to pack up my bag because I am headed down to Boston tomorrow, and then I'm gonna spend two days down there, and then we're leaving for our full trip on Saturday evening. So I'm gonna pack up my bag and I know I mentioned in last week's video that I was going to do a packing video for you but based on how it seems that the packing video of last week went I feel like this is more relevant to you guys and you're more interested in this kind of video so I don't think I'm actually going to film that even though I do have footage for it so um yeah if you have any questions for me about today's video let me know down in the comments like I said links will be down in the description box and the next time I see you, at least vlogging, I will be in Europe. I do have videos that are filmed in the New York City apartment that are still coming your way, but the next vlog style will be in Europe. So I'll catch you guys there. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting the red button that is right below this video. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.